plus 11 im guy dot d dot equals i 77 d 16 d c 0 1 2 2 4 8 s r c equals h t t p colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot u k slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 48 29 eek 9 0 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 5 2 7 3 0 9 1 im a j 38 underscore 1 5 1 6 0 6 7 5 0 8 0 0 1 dot jpg height equals 459 width equals 306 alt equals downing street criticized carillion's decision to continue paying the 660,000 pound salary of former chief executive richard Howson until october even though he quit in september class equals blocks border im share Greater than fat cat bosses at failed construction giant Carillion could face severe penalties if they have ripped off staff and taxpayers, ministers warned yesterday. An inquiry into that firm's collapse may also lead to sanctions against executives if it is found they mishandled the company's pension fund. Ministers were left scrambling to shore up public services yesterday after the firm, which has 20,000 staff and 450 government contracts, went into liquidation. Advertising in red invented by Teed's firefighters in one county were even put on standby to deliver school dinners that had been provided by the firm. Amid a furious blame game, ministers came under fire after it emerged they had handed Carillion more than £1.5 billion in new contracts since it issued the first of three profit warnings last July. They were also accused of taking their eye off the ball, after MPs were told the key official in charge of managing the government's relationship with the firm was put on other duties between August and November last year, just as the company was collapsing. Amid fears for vital public services, Cabinet Office Minister David Lidington pleaded with Carillion's public sector staff to turn up for work, saying they would be paid directly by the government. Plus 11 im guy dot d dot equals i 376748f4088349 ocsrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 482932 c 9000057852730911 image a 21 underscore one five one six zero six six two two seven two one two dot jpg height equals four hundred twenty three width equals six hundred thirty four alt equals fears amid fears for vital public services cabinet office minister david lightington pleaded with carillion's public sector staff to turn up for work class equals blocks border im share greater than but last night he tried to put the focus back on the firm's management which has been accused of paying itself huge bonuses and making massive share dividend payments even while the firm was in trouble. Mr. Lidington said receivers would be conducting an inquiry into the firm's collapse. MPs were told it could lead to severe penalties for current and former directors if they were found to have caused detriment to staff, taxpayers or the company's pension fund, which has a £580 million black hole. Downing Street also criticized Carillion's decision to continue paying the £660,000 salary of former chief executive Richard Howson until October, even though he quit in September. Plus 11 im guy dot d dot equals i 8 a o eight seven eight four two c o two c b d five f s r c equals h t t p colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot u k slash i slash pix slash twenty eighteen slash o one slash sixteen slash o one slash four eighty two c d e four eight o o o o o five seven eight five two seven three o nine one m a gem twenty underscore one five one six 606063784 jpg height equals 425 width equals 306 alt equals Mr. Lidington said receivers would be conducting an inquiry into the firm's collapse and that it could lead to severe penalties for current and former directors class equals block sporter im share greater than the prime minister's official spokesman said we wouldn't expect to see people benefiting from this failure as fears grew 
of a substantial multi-million pound bill for the taxpayer, some 20,000 Karelian staff and apprentices were warned they could face redundancy as soon as tomorrow, as ministers said they would only extend support to those providing public services. Analysts said up to 30,000 small suppliers could be left nursing losses, totaling £1 billion, with banks potentially losing another £2 billion. Unions warned that schools, hospitals and prisons could all face disruption. Civil Service Chief John Monzoni claimed EU procurement rules have made it impossible to blacklist Carillion even when it started to run into difficulty. Carillion said it had no choice but to take steps to enter into compulsory liquidation with immediate effect after talks to restructure its debts collapsed yesterday. Ministers turned down a last-minute request for a £20 million lifeline to keep the firm afloat for longer. Mr Lidington said it was right that shareholders and lenders bear the brunt of the pain, rather than taxpayers. Lord Adonis, former chairman of the National Infrastructure Commission, said taxpayers were likely to face a bill running into tens of millions to fund the managed liquidation. Government says everything being done to help Carillion workers looted. 0% progress, 0% 0 previous place apply the mute 00 00 current time 0 00 slash duration time 2 colon 31 full screen need text video quality 576p 540p 360p 270p foreground white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan opaque semi opaque background white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan opaque semi transparent transparent window white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan opaque semi transparent transparent font size 50% 75% 100% 125% 150% 175% 200% 300% 400% text edge style non raised depressed uniform drop shadow font family default monospace serif proportional serif monospace sans serif proportional sans serif casual script small caps default stun minimize expand close plus 11 Guy. D. equals I 58 B 2 D 3 F D 4 B 9 A 6 F 1 S R C equals H T T P colon slash slash I. Daily Mail. Co. UK slash I slash Pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 482 D 11 E 0 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 5 2 7 3 0 9 1 M J 42 underscore 1 5 1 6 0 6 Seven seven three five oh nine oh dot jpg height equals five hundred fifteen width equals three hundred six alt equals class equals block sporter im share greater than plus eleven im guy dot d dot equals ic seventy nine c eight five five seven nine a five four three three o b s r c equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash twenty eighteen slash o one slash sixteen slash o one slash one eight three seven o f eight o o o o o five one four five two seven three o nine one image m forty one one underscore one five one six zero six seven seven two three eight seven eight dot jpg height equals five hundred fifteen width equals three hundred six alt equals class equals block sporter im share greater than downing street yesterday insisted services were holding up well but fears remain over critical sectors such as cleaning operating theaters school meals and prison maintenance Oxfordshire County Council put firefighters on standby to deliver school meals, saying no child will go hungry at school. Labour Council offered building giant a £120 million deal days ago a Labour-run local authority offered Carillion a new contract worth up to £120 million days before the firm collapsed. Leeds City Council named the company as its preferred bidder to build a stretch of dual carriageway in the city despite prominent media reports that it was on the brink of going bust. The contract was worth an initial £14 million, with options to extend it as high as £120 million. Town Hall chiefs last night said they were looking at the impact of Carillion's collapse on the project, but insisted the deal had not been signed off.
In the Commons, Shadow Cabinet Office, Minister John Trickett said the collapse of Carillion was a failure of the government's whole ideological system of contracting out public services apostrophe. But Cabinet Office Minister David Lidington said a third of Carillion's contracts were awarded by the coalition government, with another third agreed by Labour before 2010. He said it was wrong to resort to party politics over an issue involving all the main parties. Liberal Democrat leader Sir Vince Gable accused ministers of feeding contracts to the giant to contain fears that a possible collapse may have on key public services. Controversy focused on the government's decision to continue handing out contracts to the firm after it began issuing profit warnings last summer, including a £1.4 billion HS2 rail line deal. Shadow Cabinet Office Minister John Trickett accused the government of being recklessly complacent in seeking to avoid responsibility and placing the whole responsibility on the company apostrophe. But government sources stressed that most of the new contracts were so called joint ventures in which Carillion's business partners are now obliged to pick up the work. Mr. Lidington insisted that ministers had been closely monitoring the firm after it became clear it was running into trouble. But he struggled to explain why the official in charge of the government's dealings with the firm was rotated off to other duties for three months last year. Between 2011 and 2016, Carillion paid out £458 million in dividends to shareholders, despite a growing black hole in its pension funds. Last September, the firm's board changed its rules to make it harder to claw back bonuses paid to executives. Mr. Howson pocketed £1.5 million in salary, bonuses and pension payments, during 2016. As part of his departure deal, Carillion agreed to keep paying him a £660,000 salary and £28,000 in benefits until October. Former finance chief Safar Khan, who left Carillion in September, will receive £425,000 in base salary for 12 months. Questions to answer, Sir Vince Cable says many people will be angry loaded, 0% progress, 0% 0 previous place skip live the mute 00 current time 0 00 slash duration, time 2 08 full screen need text video quality 576p 540p 360p 270p foreground, white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan, Opaque semi-opaque background, white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan, opaque semi-transparent transparent window, white black red green blue yellow magenta cyan, opaque semi-transparent transparent font size 50% 75% 100% 125% 150% 200% 250% 300% 400% 500% 400% text edge style non raised depressed uniform drop shadow font family default mono space serif proportional serif mono space sans serif proportional sans serif casual script small caps default stun minimize expand close bosses who raked in fortunes as company grumbled chief with ski chalet and historic hall Richard Housen, 49, lives in a £2 million historic hall in North Yorkshire with his wife Gary and their two sons. The handsome stone property boasts commanding views across the Dales. The couple also have a six-bedroom ski chalet in Rhône-Alpes, France, complete with a hot tub. Plus 11 m guy dot d dot equals i43 c721188 5 c866 cfsrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pics slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 48282 fbe 00005780 image a14 underscore 151606 6549552.jpg height equals 845 width equals 634 alt equals Richard Housen, 49.
lives in a £2 million historic hall in North, Yorkshire, with his wife Gary and their two sons class equals block sporter im share, greater than plus 11 im guy dot d dot equals i9 e 160b8 a41924 fbsrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 48 29 e 871 image a 15 underscore 1516065500095 jpg height equals 359 width equals 634 alt equals the handsome stone property boasts commanding views across the dales the couple also have a six bedroom ski chalet in Rhône-Alpes, France, class equals block sporter im share. Greater than two years ago, Mr. Housen was criticized for an estimated £50,000 home renovation while his firm was accused of failing to fix 45,000 squalid army houses. The Leeds Polytechnic graduate worked as an engineer before joining Carillion in 1999 and becoming chief executive in January 2012. He left in September having received more than £6 million in pay and bonuses in the role. Under his contract he is due to receive a £660,000 basic salary and £28,000 benefits till his notice period expires at the end of October. Mr. Housen, like Philip Green and Richard Adam declined to comment. The self-styled Christian capitalist Philip Green, a £215,000 a year self-styled Christian capitalist, likes to trumpet his noble deeds, once telling a newspaper, the more money you've got the more you should give away. Plus 11 im guy dot d dot equals i8 f 9 f f 0 373 b s r c equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 48280 fb 7000057800580 image a 16 underscore 1516065566 6499.jpg height equals 362 width equals 634 alt equals Philip Green, a £215,000 a year self-styled Christian capitalist, joined Carillion's board in 2011 and has been chairman since 2014. Class equals block sporter im share, greater than plus 11 im guy dot d dot equals ic2 e4 e3 d0 at 3305 bcsrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 16 slash 01 slash 482 d0 a4 c 00 91 image a22 underscore 1516066412538. JPG height equals 315, width equals 634. Alt equals the 66 year old father of two has K a four bedroom house outside Cape Town and owns a 2.2 million pound home in Berkshire, pictured, which he shares with wife Judy. Class equals block sporter im share, greater than the 66 year old father of two declined to tell his interviewer how much he gives, but has kept enough to buy a four-bedroom house outside Cape Town and owns a £2.2 million home in Berkshire which he shares with wife Judy. The Wales University and London Business School graduate was wrapped by the pensions ombudsman in 1994 after he let pension scheme money be used to buy a luxury flat at an inflated price. When he was an executive at Colour